Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Daria Piano and this video is a review of a Yamaha Digital Piano model CLP745, the one I have right here. I have acquired it back in 2021, September, and I've had my few months with it, so I can share my honest opinion with you. Let's discuss the sound. This piano has main samples of CFX Grand Piano by Yamaha and the Bösendorfer Imperial also now owned by Yamaha. These are the main two and you have a direct access button for both of these where you can switch between the two very easily right on the side here. I'll show you this panel a little bit later. And it's beautiful sample and it is improved compared to the previous sample which P515 model had. And there was a, some kind of a, I remember a defect on this higher G, defect that's barely noticeable, but I noticed it and some people did, but majority of people didn't. So don't worry if you have uh, that sample, that's still fine. It's very, very minor. And this is a beautiful sample improved. And Bösendorfer sample on this is also improved. And that's a tremendous difference in my opinion. When I played on P515, I barely touched the Bösendorfer because I found it to be quite dull, especially in the middle register. It just lacked, um, it was lacking uh, temper. It, it was quite hollow in my opinion. And this Bösendorfer is very beautiful sample and has a warm tone, very woody and gorgeous bass notes. So this is definitely an improvement. And another fun addition to this is two period instruments. There is a Mozart piano sample and a Chopin piano sample. So if you love these composers and if you want to imagine how it sounded, how the instrument of that, their epoch or period sounded, you can actually do it right here and you can play their pieces on their period instruments, which is quite fun. I found that amazing. And this is one of the reasons why, uh, and one of the reasons why I decided to upgrade from P515. They are quite different and you can hear the um, main difference is the, the tone is more metallic and thinner. And by the way, the keyboard sizes were quite different back then. The Mozart piano was quite short and Chopin piano a little bit larger, but still much shorter than we have now. I don't remember exactly, but at least probably an octave if you connect both sides that you're missing at least one octave. So, which is an interesting thing to explore. And I'm gonna demonstrate to you now all the sounds that I just mentioned. I'm gonna demonstrate the CFX Grand. I'm gonna demonstrate the Bösendorfer Imperial, the Mozart piano and the Chopin piano with uh, some pieces that I'm learning and playing. First, I'll give you a simple scale and arpeggios so you can hear the differences. And uh, by the way, these sound samples that I'm going to show you now are unmodified, meaning it's just uh, the default with the resonance and uh, all the other features that you can actually adjust. I didn't adjust any of those. The only difference I did adjust is that I'm playing on touch hard one. And the, um, another thing about the action, right? So you have uh, options of changing your touch one is the soft two, then soft one, then you have medium, hard one, and hard two. And all it is is that the softer you choose, the easier it is to play louder notes and the harder it becomes to play quiet notes and the other way around. So for playing a very, very soft sounding piece on pianissimo, maybe hard two would be a best choice because it's really difficult to get a loud sound. And I'm going to record it here directly and I will put that, um, the recording from this piano as the sound file here. Okay, I'm gonna put record. And let's start with the CFX regular um, scale and arpeggio. So let's just do a B major is fine. So I'm gonna, without the pedal. So that's the CFX and let's, um, maybe I'll give you a few notes across the octave so you can hear how they resonate and I'll play the pedal a little bit, B. I'll maybe give you a couple chords also.
Okay, and that's all recorded slightly below the middle mark on the volume knob. Okay, let's now do the Bösendorfer, same thing. So that was the Bösendorfer, let me say that. Fun part, now let's try to do the same thing on the Mozart piano. And again, as I mentioned, the Mozart piano was quite short, much shorter than the piano nowadays. Oopsies. So the sounds that are low and high, those had to be synthetically generated because there was no way to sample that because it just didn't exist. So it's interesting how that works. All right, let's do it. So you kind of you can hear when that change happens from synthetic sound to actual sound. Well, let's go. Maybe I'll play from here. <laughs> I won't in the higher. Probably from here. Wait. Right? That that's not real. <laughs> All right. Let's do the B major shorter scale. And now let's do the Chopin piano. You could hear the difference, how much thinner the Mozart piano was probably the thinnest and uh, the resonance lasted the least of all, right? Chopin's piano, a little bit fuller sound and a little bit more resonance and a little bit different pedal response as well. And then of course, modern pianos are the ones I showed first are very, very different, but it's so, such a cool feature to have that. I'm so glad they sampled those period instruments. An excerpt on the Mozart piano. A little different from what I'm used to, but <laughs> it shows it shows you how different instruments were before, and a little bit of. Uh, sad and slow music. And now let me give you a couple examples on the Chopin piano. And the next 
example is a slower piece by Chopin. Now let me show you some sound examples on CFX Grand and Bösendorfer. I'm going to use actually the same exact pieces so you can actually compare how the period instrument sounds very different from uh, our, our nowadays instrument. Uh, let's start with the CFX Grand. I'm going to record the same example, the faster example from the Mozart and a slower example from the Chopin. good and then the Chopin. For me it's much easier to play on the uh, CFX Grand than it was to play in the Chopin's period. <laughs> it's funny it's the same piece but makes a big difference. <laughs> And now let's do the faster Chopin and the slower Mozart on the Bösendorfer. It's not perfect. I just started learning it three weeks ago, so I apologize for mistakes and imperfections. But this piece is great to show you how deep and rich the bass tones are in the Bösendorfer sample. And now let me show you the slower Mozart on the Bösendorfer. And this example showed you a bit more of the middle register of the Bösendorfer. It's still timid, but it's much brighter than it was on the sample that's been used um, on P515 model, for example. So Bösendorfer is very beautiful here, and um, I like them both equally. Now on this instrument, I like the CFX and the Bösendorfer E, maybe CFX slightly more because it's brighter. And again, if that's a personal preference, I prefer a brighter tone. But uh, for some pieces, Bösendorfer is just gorgeous. And I think for uh, the small third, it actually works really, really well. I will probably make a few more, uh, maybe a one or a couple more videos on just comparing the Bösendorfer and the CFX sample where I play the same piece on one and then on the other. So you can see the difference more clearly back to back. But for this video, this is enough of the sound samples, I think. And I'm quickly going to demonstrate to you the gradation of the sound of the dynamic, how much uh, dynamic change you can achieve 
by just changing the way you touch the key. So I'm going to record that first. I'm going to see effects. I'm going to just try the middle C here. I'm going to start very, very quietly and then crescendo and then back to minuendo to pianissimo. And here was my volume knob setting for that. And I'm going to now show you the same thing with the Bösendorfer on the same middle seat. 